Today I'm going to be talking about grocery store hacks. Um, so I like to save time and money. So I thought this was a good video to share on how I do those things. So let's see, before I start shopping, before I even leave my house, I get the circular. Mine comes on Wednesday, but you can pull them up any time of the week on the internet for your local store. And I uh, meal plan based on the circular and what's on sale. So, for instance, if there's chicken on sale for 99 cents a pound, we're having chicken that week. Um, and whatever vegetables are on sale that week. So, I'll make, I'll go... I'll make my meal plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday is left overnight. And Friday, we typically go out to eat. And then Saturday and Sunday, we typically just munch on whatever's in the house or sometimes I'll throw together something on Sunday. Um, let's see, what other hacks? Let's see, we did the grocery list. Oh, and make sure, oh, a good thing with the grocery list and making it at home is that most grocery stores now have digital coupons. So once you're on their website, go ahead and sign up for their membership card where you can get points. I know one of our local grocery stores has points and fuel saver points. So, depending on what you buy, you get a certain amount of gas. <laughs> let's see, what else? Um, let's see, you can... Oh, another good one that I like is when you go to the butcher. Um, sometimes it's cheaper to get the meat that's at the butcher's, um, you know, in the meat case, as opposed to getting it prepackaged in that way you can portion it yourself you can decide on how much you want to spend and also it's detailed in the circular what's what's on sale at the butcher and when you're in the meat department you can ask them to season it for free no extra cost for them to season it so if I get chicken I keep using chicken as an example okay let's switch if I get pork chops I'll ask them to throw a little Cajun seasoning on there and freeze them. And then when they're thawing out for whenever we eat them, they'll marinate in the seasoning and it saves about, you know, an additional 10 or 15 minutes that I would use seasoning the chicken or pork chops. That's what we're using, pork chops. <laughs> Let's see. Another tip that I like to use is shop the perimeter of the store, the outside of the store. Don't go down the aisles because that's where you'll spend the most money and that's where the junk food is. Junk food, although it's convenient and delicious, it can add up. You'll get a package of, what, fruit roll-ups for $3.99 when you could go and press your own fruit or just eat whole fruit for $1.99 a pound. You'll live healthier and you'll save a little bit of money and you're not in those aisles where all the junk food is. Shop the perimeter of the store. Um, another hack I like is sometimes when we go to the grocery store, oh, if the kids sign up on some grocery stores, they get free fruit. Um, at one of our grocery stores, they just, they're like, whatever, we don't need the kids to sign up, just come in and pick a piece of fruit. And they'll have a basket of fruit for the kids. Uh, another good deal is, is if you like going to the bakery and buying bakery stuff, they usually have manager specials by the end of the day. So at one of our local grocery stores, we get the cakes and we'll get a cake for the week. It will last a week, but it will be 50% off. So we'll have dessert for the week and we'll have a discount. Also, uh, sometimes you can get freeze-by date uh, food that's in the case and the manager will also, oops, sorry, my alarm's going off, and the manager, it will be on manager special, which will knock it down another discount depending on the store and how much they want to sell it for. 
I know one a couple weeks ago during the summer they had this huge my son's throwing balloons as you can see anyway they were having um, like an end of the summer sale I think it was Memorial Day is that no Labor Day Labor Day and they had steaks and hot dogs and things I guess they overstocked thinking that everybody would grill out and I think it rained this Labor Day so nobody really went to the grocery store so that Wednesday I took myself to the grocery store steaks were marked down hot dogs were marked down what else was uh barbecue sauces were all in the clearance aisles um oh yeah check the clearance ask somebody in the store whatever store you go to where is the clearance section and sometimes there will be some awesome things in the clearance sections i know i find a lot of marinades i find a lot of sauces i find a lot of seasoning i find a lot of tea i guess people don't drink tea around here but I do, so that helps out. Um, I can't think of any more hacks right now, but I will, I can make a part two once I come up with them. Oh, when you're shopping the circulars and going around the store, bring your coupons with you. You never know, you never know. All right, well, thanks for watching my video and we will talk soon, peace.